Sometimes you could really use a little bit of reassurance in your life, right? Perhaps you're about to make a really big life-changing decision that you would like others to weigh in on. Or maybe you're insecure about what direction you wanna go. But what happens when you rely too much on others to help you out? Dependent Personality Disorder, DPD, is a cluster C personality disorder, which is known as the cluster characterized by anxious behaviors. People with DPD are often incredibly fearful and have little confidence in themselves. Disclaimer, it's important to note that DPD has many traits that align with other disorders, especially other personality disorders and anxiety disorders. In order to be diagnosed, you must speak with a qualified mental health professional who can discern the differences between this disorder and the similar one. To better understand dependent personality disorder, DPD. Let's look at some of the most common signs. Number one, you find it extremely difficult to be alone. Do you tend to overlook your own boundaries in order to appease others you rely on? Perhaps the biggest sign of DPD is an intense fear of being alone. You may find that you avoid rejection at all costs to avoid being left alone. You may find yourself completely lost when alone and desperately waiting for the other person to come back. It's common for people with DPD to feel that they have no sense of identity apart from their partner, friend, or relative, and will become intensely anxious when they're absent. This other person fulfills your needs and the person with DPD will feel directionless without them. Number two, you rely on others to make the decisions in your life. Is it always a challenge to make your own decisions in anything? Whether it's a big life change or something small like picking out dinner, Submissiveness is another key sign of DPD. People with DPD will often need to go through someone else to make sure that they're on the right path. Work may be difficult for a person with DPD as they are unable to complete tasks on their own, even if they are perfectly skilled to do so. This dependency can be extremely taxing on relationships and wear on the people they depend on. Additionally, people with DPD may be vulnerable to abuse in relationships especially if they are someone that takes advantage of their disorder and tendencies. Number three, you do things to win other people's approval. People with DPD often have a low self-esteem coupled with a fear of abandonment or being alone. One of the ways people with this disorder try to avoid rejection is by people-pleasing. This can come at the expense of your own well-being. In order to avoid rejection, you may often partake in activities that go against what you would normally do. This disorder may be why you disregard barriers and put yourself in uncomfortable positions to ensure that they'll accept you. You may find yourself bending over backwards to please other people, no matter the cost. Number four, you are highly sensitive to criticism. Is it easy for you to take criticism with a pinch of salt? No. Are you afraid just a pinch would be way too little? As someone with DPD, you are deeply afraid of rejection. So hearing someone speak out against you can be incredibly painful. It can give you the impression that the other person is going to leave. Therefore, DPD can trigger submissive and approval-seeking behaviors as a coping mechanism to try to avoid criticism. Number five, you need a lot of reassurance. DPD is common in people with low self-esteem. You'll find yourself often relying heavily on validation and reassurances. You may find yourself unable to make any kind of decision without going through another person and having them give input on what you do. This dependency can be so difficult for people with DPD and their romantic partners that it can take its toll on relationships. The person with DPD will often get into another relationship quickly to avoid the overarching fear of being alone. And number six, you find it difficult to start things on your own. An inability to take initiative is another big sign of DPD. You may find that you cannot start projects on your own as you need to go through another person first. If you're left by yourself, you may notice that you are overwhelmed and struggle to find where to start. People close to those with DPD will often need to be present at all times to help with these decisions, putting a strain on their relationships. The dependency is a necessity and people struggling with the disorder find themselves unable to operate on their own terms. Everyone depends on another for survival, but there comes a point when this need is too much. DPD is difficult to live with and can greatly reduce your quality of life. However, it's important to know that it is possible to get help. DPD is highly treatable, so getting in contact with the right mental health professional is often a great first step to getting your life on track. Did you recognize any of these signs? Are there any other signs we missed? Let us know in the comments below.
As always, keep an eye on Sai for more Psych2Go content. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Sai. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes 